Okay, guys, we're back here, and this is part two. So, if you haven't watched the first part, make sure you do that. The first part took yeah took care of a timer that counts up. So, um, this part will take care of a timer that will count down from a certain number. So, obviously this continues from part one, so that's important because we're just going to modify uh, modifying this. So, we're going to go into our frame here, into the actions, and in our hours, minutes, and seconds, here's where we'll adjust what number it counts down from. So, I want it to count down from... Three hours, six minutes, and twenty seven seconds. Random three six two seven. Don't even know what that works, but now we we'll hit enter. It's going to count up again, but in our code here, instead of adding point zero two seconds, it will now be subtracting and uh, I'm actually not too sure how this will work seems like it's working good and basically it's just changing values so if it's greater than that we want it if it's less than um, less than um, I was going to say zero if the time is less if we've got less than zero seconds minute equals minus one and seconds equals back up to 59 actually we want that at uh, 60 I believe um, I always have trouble with this stuff because it's like I don't want it to be completely one second off that's important I'm gonna say we want it to be back at 59 yeah 59 now, if that's off a bit, uh, I'm sorry, please. Obviously, correct that in your own and leave a comment below. I'll probably read the first few comments for a couple hours. Anyways, um, back on to this. So then, if our minutes are uh, less than zero, zero, our hour equals minus one and um, the minutes will then equal 59 now this is actually something new f oh sorry I just hit my mic there um, and then scratch my chin <laughs> this here is new for me I haven't actually tested out um, my countdown timer that I just threw together right here so hopefully this works um, it looks like it's working pretty well. We'll just see how well it drops down the minutes here. And of course, I can change these values so it's a little bit easier to check. So that seems like it worked all right for that. But what I'm going to do is just to speed things up a bit, I'm going to make the hours, two hours, minutes, two seconds, two, 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 two. So it's one, zero. One of it down, that means we only have to wait another minute. Actually, screw that, we'll, we'll speed that up again, of course. We're gonna go one minute there. So that means I should adjust our hours right away. I lied. Because um, we want our minutes to be below zero. And again with the waiting, I don't want to have to wait a whole minute just to test something out. So there's zero minutes, so let's see what happens then. So it's one hour, 59 minutes, and 56 seconds. That looks like it's working pretty damn good to me, guys. So that is how you make a super simple timer of awesomeness. This one counts down. Now, like in my example here, uh, just open this up because it's example that I made up here. Um wondering the reset button just takes you back to this page it's a simple button um, 
Buttons are actually one of the easiest things to code. Um, of course, we've got that, which links to my website where you can download it. Um, now, the set button is actually interesting here. We've got two buttons to adjust um, minutes and stuff. And that's just a result of being one frame per second, and I'm clicking faster than that, so it goes into the negatives. Because um, with a lot of the stuff, it updates, like the whole game kind of thing, updates every every um, second, so or whatever your frame rate is. So with this, you can go up to like an infinite number of minutes, as long as you just want to sit here and click. So maybe you want an auto clicker for that, or anyway. And same with seconds. Go to zero, it drops down to 59, and so on. And then when this counts up to that, it will play the annoying alarm as you heard in the first one. Now, um, if you're interested in that stuff, I will I'll cover an alarm sort of function in probably another video. But for now, let's just work on getting this aesthetically pleasing. So first of all, well, not what I wanted to do. Delete that box, and of course, just end off the tutorial here. If you've got all the information you wanted to know about how to make a really easy, an easy countdown or count up timer, and then as well, just to cover all my bases here, um, if you have something where you want. Uh, when everything hits zero, it'll do something you would want to do if uh, underscore root dot sec is equal to equal to zero, and then inside of that you will go if underscore root dot min, and you can do this in whatever order. Uh, it would probably be best to ah yeah two things we can do here um, and I'll just do it this way and then I'll show you the fix to this afterwards uh, so that equals zero and then inside of that if actually I need a bracket there <coughs> instead of that if uh, underscore root dot so our is equal equal to zero. Um, then this is where you would put in whatever you wanted to happen. In this case, I'll go underscore root dot um, go to and play. Actually, no, I'll have go to my site. So get URL URL bracket. Sorry, I'm really derping on this part here. Um, get URL, HTTP, ADF, dot LY, slash, 5RF, WD, boom, boom, and the line. Now, the problem with this will be is that if we were to wait for all this stuff to count down again, wait another hour, um, you would notice that once the seconds hit zero, it will continue to go. Sorry, once the hours hit zero, um, there's a chance that they will continue to count down afterwards because we haven't put any stoppers on it. This has a chance of stopping it. Uh, I'm just trying to think in advance here. So I believe. Doing it this way, because the seconds will hit zero, then the minutes will hit zero, then the hours will hit zero, and it should take you there. But say you had the hours at zero, then the minutes, then the seconds, or whatever order other than this, what would happen is you would see that uh, the hours would hit zero, then it would go to check for the minutes, and um, if things happened fast enough, the minutes would equal zero, but then the seconds would start counting over again. So, 
there's always a chance that what could happen is one of these numbers could go into negatives with the countdown here. So we're going to want to stick in some blockers for that. Now we've got the blocker, or well, kind of the reset for the minutes and the seconds and stuff, but for the hours we've got nothing from keeping that from going into negative hours. In some cases you might want that. Um, I'm not sure what sort of thing you're looking for. If you just want like, obviously just a countdown like, hey, in one hour and 59 minutes I have to leave for a prostate exam or something, you know? So if that's what you're looking for, then this will suffice. If you're wanting it to bottom out at zero, then obviously you can just set it to go to a different slide or even play a sound or something. So essentially this is all you need. If you're gonna go into days, obviously it's just kind of more of the same processes here. So yeah, that is how to build a super simple timer. Aesthetically, as for aesthetic looks, you can throw in uh, text boxes in between here that's either it's got like the colons or a description like hours, minutes, seconds. You can even do this for days, months. It's all just, a, um, just you know, just working with the countdown and the frame here, what you want the stuff to start with. And then in wherever you've got your script laid out, um, just either what it's counting down by or what it's counting up by in accordance to your frame rate. So that's one second, or like one divided by your frame rate will be that integer there. Try and keep it to as even numbers as possible, obviously. And then, um, you know, seconds, when seconds is low or high. Yeah, I think you guys get the idea. If you don't, feel free to comment below or message me. Actually, don't message me on YouTube, but chances are I will not read your comments. Well, or any messages. But they're on my website, which there will be a link in the description below. Um, there will be a forum topic started, as well as the source code to download for any of this. So feel free to check that out. And yeah, please comment, rate, subscribe. For more Flash tutorials, feel free to request a tutorial. Now, I will cover right now that I am no professional at this. I have a very limited knowledge of um, Flash stuff, so basically I just stick to the basics. And this outro is really running long. I'm going to give myself four minutes to finish this up. <laughs> so, yeah. Check out my website. There's I believe three games up on it right now at the time of this going out as well as you can download this timer that is on the screen right now which I love it for recording and stuff because aside from the really annoying alarm which I hope sometime I'll get around to making it so you can change the alarm and whatnot but other than that it uses very 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 little computer resources running at only one frame per second as you can see up in the top left there and its memory usage is so small, zero CPU most of the time, spikes to one about when the alarm goes off, but that's just because it's got to play the new sound. And before I go on rambling a bit too much, thanks for watching.